What's up, my fantastic dealers of hope? It's your boy, your brother from another mother, your cousin who needs some loving, your uncle who's got no belt buckle. Because I'm actually not wearing a belt. I got my fast shoes and my fast shorts on because I got to float through the world fast. <laughs> Hey y'all, I want to apologize for the video yesterday. I rewatched the first 30 seconds of it and I had to stop because a brother was feeling kind of anxious, anxiety, because the audio was all jacketed up. But I wanted to uh, shoot this video real quick and uh, let y'all know I really appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been giving me and the prayers, definitely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know my wife absolutely needs it definitely so my uh, my sister-in-law sent me a message and the message reminded me of a little something that I completely forgot about and yeah a variable that I think was extremely important that I did not consider um, my my wife. I, I didn't consider that variable to be present in my wife's reaction to me still going out in public, still going to high traffic areas like work. Yeah. So, some so those of you that don't know, in two thousand. 10 I was diagnosed with testicular cancer and I completed three rounds of chemotherapy which was three weeks long each round um, which left me with the hearing loss that I'm currently experiencing and uh, I don't remember the name for it because my wife she has that uh, that repertoire of enhanced vocabulary that I do not have that I have to rely on her I mean just think about it just recently I've been under the assumption that conversate was a word because Tupac says it doesn't mean that I can so yeah that being said pulmonary something scarring basically oh I hope whoever got hurt over there it's okay they better not have been making videos I'm just letting you know I've been looking at the road the entire time so baby I'm looking at the road mom I'm looking at the road mamacita I'm looking at the road <laughs> y'all know who you are but yeah so my wife was like uh, coming to me frantically like explaining the severity of the situation and I'm like oh man baby come on girl you know what time it is man I'm a I'm a soldier I feel really weird saying soldier I, I, there's no a there's no G soldier well there's no G in soldier either <laughs> see conversate um, so my limiting thinking I didn't consider the, uh, the advice that my wife was giving me because she's a well aware of the uh, pulmonary scarring that I suffered because of the chemotherapy that I went through, the type of chemotherapy that I went through. So when my sister-in-law posted that or when she shared it with me, I'm like, oh man, it makes total sense. And so the reason why I'm sending this video is because when you have loved ones or friends that are explaining in, in the only way that they know how, and, and it might be with fewer words but more emotion, why you need to take it serious. Maybe you should take it serious because you don't know what they know. I usually say you never know what you don't know. Well, that's true. But there are people that are in your corner that know a lot more about you than you actually do because you get caught up in this day-to-day -day mundane habitual routine wake up eat 
go to work, come home, eat, sleep, wake up, eat, go to work, and even your work has lost its its luster in your life. It's it's gleam. It, is that a word? It's uh, it's magic because it's day to day, mundane, same thing every day, and then you forget about the common sense things about yourself, your your values, your your uh, your ethics. You know, maybe you have health conditions that that you really don't even take into consideration because you have these bad habits that actually are making those things worse. You never know. So the people that are in your life that are actually giving you, I'm not, I'm not talking about all emotional advice like F this and F that, you're so stupid for doing this, you're so stupid. All those people that you're hanging out with stupid. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people that you know their arguments are founded on logic and they have a lot of emotion like pepper and salt sprinkled on top. But don't get it twisted because they actually care about you. And maybe you're one of those individuals for them. So, yeah, I wanted to, Florida traffic. <laughs> anyway, yeah, take this time to spend it with your family Take a look at your own house and see what you got to do to put that house in line. And that means making amends with some of the relationships that you have behind closed doors. That means literally cleaning your room and making your bed. That means decluttering, wiping everything down, cleaning, de just deep stressing your environment. Because tomorrow is going to present challenges that today's version of yourself are not equipped to deal with. You need to be clear-headed, clear, clear-headed, clear-minded, clear-headed. You know what I'm saying? So let's do it, y'all. Let's get resourceful. Let's ask for help if we need help. Let's offer help if we have the ability. And let's save some lives with one hope dealing at a time. Peace.